Welcome to Draw This. Draw This is a series of videos where I'll draw a random word for you while describing my process so that you, the viewer, can follow along. So the random word that I get today is hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Photoshop here and draw a portrait of myself, a self-portrait, so that we have a model to put our hair on top of. And for the hair, I'm going to use the new particle brushes in Corel Painter 2015. So we'll go ahead and get started. So here in Photoshop, I've already done a quick sketch of my face. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create layers for each overlapping object as I would do in Corel Painter. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fill in those areas with gray colors. So I'm going to start with the face and use a small brush just to go in and paint along the edge to keep it nice and smooth. And then once I've gone along the edge, I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the center with a larger brush to make short work of it. I'm going to fill in the rest of the layers and add additional layers as needed. Now I'm going back and forth between light and dark. I'm really only using one brush here, which is just the basic soft edge brush, but I am varying the opacity and the size. So at a certain point, you kind of reach your limit with what you can do in Photoshop, and eventually you have to move to Painter to be able to do some effects like hair and natural media. So let's jump over there. The advantage to working in Painter is you have a lot more brushes that are geared more towards art and less towards photo editing. Now Photoshop does have a liquify effect, but Painter has these nice distortion tools which can pinch edges and reshape your artwork. I find that really handy for cleaning things up because I can paint really rough and then make it nice and smooth later. Now as I mentioned, there's natural media brushes like these nice blenders that will give you a nice painterly effect when you blend. So what I want to do is find a balance of smooth and sharp. And I'm going to just go back and forth here and add and subtract and add and subtract and sharpen and smooth. And you really can't just do it all in one go. You have to work back and forth, step back, look at the piece, see what you need to fix and fix it. And you'll see that I, I go, I really jump around a lot here, but that's just kind of how I like to work. So back to our reference image here, I'm just going to continue adding fine details with this fine tip brush and working from broad to smooth really works best. I'm ready to paint the hair now using the new particle brushes in Corel Painter 2015. So I'm going to use the brush that's called Hair Thick, which is available in my custom workspace. These brushes work better if you do quick strokes. So you want to do quick smooth strokes, you want to start at the scalp, and follow the contour of the head and the hairstyle. You want to consider whether or not there's a part, and if there is, you want to make sure the hair flows out of the part naturally. So I'm just kind of following my reference example here to know where to paint my hair. But if you wanted to, you could just paint hair by imagination as well. And this brush makes really short work out of painting a lot of hair really fast. You can use short quick strokes for shorter hair or long flowing strokes for longer hair. It works really well. I mean, you would have to, in older versions of Painter or even Photoshop, you'd have to paint all of these hairs pretty much individually. And that would take you quite a while to do. So this is a really, really nice brush. And there's lots of other brushes too that can paint leaves and fire and lots of cool stuff. So I filled in all of my dark tones for my hair just to establish the overall shape. And then now I'm gonna add midtones and highlights to add more definition to the hair. The light is kind of coming from the sides here. And I'm eventually gonna do kind of a backlighting effect. So I'm really just trying to follow those contours I've already established by drawing in the dark hair. You don't wanna work against those contours, you wanna work with them. And then you want to put some highlights on the hair, but not a whole lot. And you want those to be facing kind of towards your light source. And if you go too heavy with the light, you can always add dark back over the top. I usually find that I need to do that when I'm painting hair. So the hair's looking pretty good now. I'll add maybe a few more little hairs here and there, and then I'm just going to wrap up this face so that we have a completed painting. I'm going to add some backlighting using an airbrush. And then I'm going to start adding layers of tinting. These will be multiply composite method layers. And this is kind of like what you would do if you were doing an oil painting or an acrylic painting using a glazing method. And you want to work back and forth adding layers of light opaque paint and then tinting with multiply layers. You can add some canvas texture on its own layer if you want. Set that layer to overlay and fill it with a dark gray that's set to a value of 128 and then add your texture to that. And then your texture will just be on its own and can't be disturbed. I, again, as I mentioned before, I do jump around a lot. So you'll see that sometimes I'm painting one thing and then sometimes I'm painting another. And I'm really just looking back and forth at my artwork to see where I need to go next. 
I added some focal blur by duplicating the artwork, blurring it, and then masking away the center with an airbrush. And that helps this portrait look more photographic. So now we're nearing completion on this painting. I'm going to add a few more touches just to bring the face together a little bit more. So there you go. Here's a finished portrait of myself and a really easy way to paint hair using the new particle brushes in Corel Painter 2015. If you enjoyed this episode of Draw This, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button to see my latest videos as they're released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.